So now every person can find himself that he feels like, oh, I'm in such low place, shallow water, I'm dealing with nonsense, my daily obligations, like judging yourself. But you don't know that what that you are doing is so precious and important in the eyes of Hashem that it's so important that He literally sent you to that place to serve Him. Now you think to yourself, oh, I wish I would serve Him over there in Jerusalem. I wish I would serve Him over there in that holy place. It's not true. The strongest warriors are those ones that are going and battling in the enemy zone, in a foreign land. In the dark places over there, the light is needed and required. You don't need a candle in the light in the daytime. You, you, a candle in the day is useless. What are you going to do with that? You have a huge torch and it's 12, uh, 12 p.m. What, what do you do with it? It's nothing. It's worthless. You can wave it to yourself. You yourself are going to be burnt from the heat of it. It won't illuminate the life of no one. No one needs you. But when you're in the darkness and you're a small tiny light, you're a matches box, every day one match, every day one match, like candles of Hanukkah. Nerkatan, a small candle. But it's shining because of the darkness. And people will see it, and people will recognize it, and people will come to you thirsty to a source of water, because you found your inner source of water. And then you will be able to water them, and to provide it to other people. To provide water? No, to provide an inner access to their inner spirit. That they will find themselves and going to start shining on their own. You cannot shine to everyone. You can only shine your own path. You can be only who you are. There is one that is able to be in charge on 1,000 souls. There is one that is able to be in charge on 1,000, to shine to them, to provide good advice to them. And there is one that is so obligated and tied that Hashem put him in a secret mission that he cannot leave his house. That he must shine his light only to the individual people of his close family. And over there he needs to work like he is doing a secret job for Hashem. And not to think to himself, oh, I'm not a general, I'm not out there, I'm not teaching, I'm not preaching, I'm not whatever. No, it's not your mission. A good and loyal soldier is a soldier that when his commander is going to tell him to duck, he will duck. Going to tell him go clean the toilets, he will go clean the toilets without questioning his commander. He will just go and do his obligation by the book. Being nice, being positive, being happy, supporting and loving and respecting and honoring every person in the wide